What is going on guys? We are back again with another unsearched roll of wheat pennies. I paid $2 for this roll. And when I say unsearched guys, I mean that uh, these have probably already been searched for key dates. However, they did not really look very close for errors. Uh, if, if you saw my last video, I found three total errors in a roll of pennies last time. So hopefully, we can find some more out of these. Let's go ahead and dump them out. There we go. I, lo I just love that roll. That's so awesome. And uh, we're going to get a better angle. I'm going to move the camera down here. Let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our first coin. There's our first one right there. Hopefully, we'll do better than 40s and 50s. Well, that's a good start. 1950D. All right. Come on, hopefully they're not all 40s and 50s. I have a feeling they might be though. Look at that one, 54D. It's got some weird uh, trouble on the edge there. All right, well, it looks like these might all be 40s and 50s again. There's a 48D, but that's okay because we're gonna be looking for RPMs and you name it, we're gonna be looking for it. 1942D, I'm just gonna go through these real quick, 51D. There is a 53D, 44. I'd love to find something to error in here. 51D again. Man, I was hoping I'd get something older. 58D. But there's lots of RPMs and errors that we can look for. 41. Maybe find a, a cud error or something good like that. It looks like a 45D. So it looks like 40s and 50s again. 41. Uh, looks like a 45, I think. I don't have my glasses on. 57. And that is a 45 again. 58D. So the, we're seeing, I'm seeing some mint marks. They're all D mint marks. There's a 56D, but you just never know. I mean, I found three errors in my last roll. There's another 50D, 56D. There's still plenty of stuff that we could, oh wow, look at that one. What the heck? What the heck? Wow, wow. I With that back on there, I would have expected that to be like a 1909. I almost feel like that's a strike through grease error, but it's not. It's just a really thin, what, you hear you hear the the, uh, the old saying, one thin dime? Well, this is one thin penny. It's a 1956 Denver. Wow, that thing was super thin. Uh, 47D, 44D, there's a 46D. Oh, I got another thin one. It looks like 44D. What is this? 44. 45. I'm not seeing any like the last one. I had some decent ones in there. 44D. But for $2 a roll, not bad. Uh, that is a 49, I believe. There's a 58D. Come on, repunch mint marks. 55D. I was hoping I would get something cool in here, maybe just an accidental even, like something from the teens or something like that. Sometimes, you know how people, you know, they'll, they'll accidentally put a coin in a roll, you know, or they're just trying to get a place for it. And uh, who knows? You just never know. So far, all 50s, there's a 57D and 40s. 56. Well, I'm going to say this. these are all going to be 50s and 40s. Uh, we are going to go through these next for any type of errors that we can find. There's a 47D. There's plenty of D mint marks in here to, uh, to look for uh, RPMs. We could maybe find a lamination peel error, maybe some cut errors. Who knows? Strike through grease. There's another 55. We got things to look for still. I'm not worried. What is that? 44 with a big old funky spot on it. 
57. All right, down to the last couple, 49. Oh, that's a nice 40, 42. That one's decent, it's got some uh, luster on there still. 45 with some some funkiness going on there. I don't know what. Be cool if it's a lamination peel. Uh, 46. I'll even take a cracked a die crack or something. 55D. All right, so that is everything. Let's go ahead and search them for errors. Okay, so I am done hunting all 50 pennies. And unfortunately, there was not a whole lot in this roll this time. I think I may have just lucked out on that last roll, but I did find something. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the, the three coins that were just oddballs, just some oddities, nothing crazy. I had this one here that's worn really, really thin. It almost looks like it was a beach find or something. It's just really, really worn smooth. At first I thought maybe a strike through grease on the back, but then if you look on this side, you can tell somebody wore it down really bad. This one, uh, somebody just scratched the, the, the heck out of it. It's just all over and under the scope. It looked worse than, uh, than what it looks right there. It just looked weird and crazy. And then I also had this one here. Look at that. It looked like someone took a little knife to it and they were going to like try and make something out of it. I don't know. Just something different. Anyway, so I did find a couple of things. The first one I'm not so sure about yet. The 1958. I looked under the scope really, really closely and I feel like there might be a, uh, an RPM on the D. It's really, really hard to tell. I'm going to take a little bit more time and get in closer. Uh, I know that there are uh, some 58 D, uh, D over Ds. So, like I said, it was just really hard to see. But this one, I could definitely see. Let's take a look at this one here. And uh, when we zoom in there, you check out the Liberty, L-I-B-E-R-T-Y. And I'll try and get a nice still shot for you guys. But the B, there is a die chip in the B. And if you look at the E as well, the die is starting to break down there. And uh, if they, who knows if they let that go long enough, you just never know. That might be like a, a BIE, like the beginnings of a BIE uh, error coin. So I just thought that was kind of cool. Like I said, not a whole lot in this roll. I think I may go buy a couple more rolls if he has some and just give it another shot. What do you guys think? We'll see you next time. And as always, guys, happy hunting.